His first name is Stephen? Yes. Oh, his last name? <laughs> no, his first name is Destiny. <laughs> or his first name is Stephen. Really? Yeah. What? No. To my understanding. <laughs> he doesn't look like a Stephen. He looks like a Destiny. Yeah. All right. Whenever- Have you met a lot of destinies in real life, Jesse? I feel like I don't look like one. But Destiny Child. Maybe. Yeah. Do I look like any of the members of Destiny's Child? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so trip to the eye doctor, Jesse. Okay. All right. We're good, Bill. No, you don't look like them at all. Welcome to the Fallen States. I am Destiny Peterson. My friend is back. I haven't seen him in a while. I have with me Destiny, Twitch streamer, gamer, and YouTube personality. And for the first time, I'm meeting his, I don't know if it's his girlfriend, fiance, or wife. I'll find out. Uh, He, uh, with us today, is Melina Gurrison. I'm gonna let her say the last name. I'm sure I'm screwing that up. She She is a Twitch streamer and Swedish immigrant model. I mean, what is it? Yeah, that's close enough. Yeah. I don't sure. have Instagram. Oh, Instagram. <laughs> Let me do that over. She is a Twitch streamer as Swedish Instagram model. Thank you both for coming on. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Um, it's good to see you again, uh, Destiny. It's been a while. Thanks. It's good to see you too. So Destiny you, Peterson. I think that's how you introduce yourself. I'm glad to get to meet you again. <laughs> that's right. So you both are in Sweden right now. Why are you there? Oh, because I live here and he's because, visiting. Oh, I see. Amazing. Yeah. And so I was watching some of your videos last night, Melina, because I had heard, I heard about you. I knew Destiny had a girl. Are you guys married now or engaged or... We're engaged. Hopefully married in the next couple months. Yeah. Yeah. Really? And Mm -hmm. so, uh, Melina, why did you say yes to Destiny when he asked, would you marry him? Because I I love him. And what do you love about him? Everything. Did you know he's a liberal? Yeah, but that's amazing. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I think it's amazing. Really? So would you classify him as a beta male or an alpha male? He's a sigma male. A, a sick male? Sigma. Sigma male, Jess. You don't know what sigma males are? No. Oh, you're behind on the times. I am. What is it? Sigma males are men that go their own way, Jesse. They don't play the alpha beta games, okay? They live their own lives. Oh, that's amazing. And amazing. so, Destiny, why did you ask Melina to marry you? Because I, I love her too. And what do you love about her? Uh, I love how adventurous she is. She travels a lot. Uh, I like that she goes outside a lot, so it gets me outside a lot. We go like swimming and diving and hiking. Um, she's oh. fun to be around. And I got him to go to the gym. Oh yeah, she gets me to go to the gym. Yeah, she improves <laughs> my life. Oh nice. And so when you got, when are you getting married? I'm um, not 100 percent sure. All the visa stuff is complicated now because of the uh, the coronavirus, so it's hard to figure out when things are going to happen. So Melina, when you marry him, are you going to move to America? Yeah, I think oh, so. Oh good. And will you obey him? Wait, what does that mean? Obey? Yeah. Like, take my orders. <laughs> For what? I don't know. For Wait, what, what Jesse? What do you mean by that, Jesse? Because uh, uh, the man is the head of the wife, and it's the wife's responsibility to obey her husband. You're going to obey me? I think it's the opposite. No. <laughs> What's the yeah, option? she's gonna she's gonna be very obedient, Jesse. One hundred percent. Is that true, what Melina? Do do? What do you want me to do? We'll take orders from the head of the household. Oh shit. Yep. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> what? I wasn't prepared for that. And when you get married, are you gonna stay home and watch over his children or raise his children for him? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe sure. if we have kids in the future, maybe. We but I mean, she kids. streams, so she can work and stream at the same time, or stream and yeah. take care of the kids at the same time. I thought time. I could work and take care of the kids at the same time and make more money. Yep. Amazing. Uh, well, I wish you guys well. Congratulations on getting married. Thank you. Thanks, Jesse. Yeah, I do wish you well with that. Um, Melina, you're a very interesting person, so I need to talk to you first. I already know about Destiny. Okay. Well, something sure. I learned some new things about Destiny, That's too. Dope. Yeah. Sounds so, great. So, uh, what's important to you, Melina? In life? Yeah, period. Like, having fun. Having fun? 
Yeah. How old are you? Twenty three. Twenty three. And so yeah. when you have when you say having fun, what do you mean? Like travel, experiencing things, like doing psychedelic drugs is fun for me. Like painting, streaming, meeting people is fun. Yeah. Did you say doing drugs? Yeah, it's fun. And what type of drugs do you do? Like sh mushrooms. Do you really? Yeah. And, you? And, and why? No. Why do you do them? Because it's fun. You're What's missing fun? out. I'm yeah, sorry? you should. You well, should do them. You should do it and you will see it's fun. But I don't need to. I have peace. But I mean, sure. But don't you want a little bit more peace by having some psychedelic mushrooms? <laughs> Amazing. Like, imagine, like, maybe your life is fun, but maybe sometimes you go on roller coasters to make it even more fun sometimes. Like That's that. amazing. And do, yeah, you know, smoke, right? do you smoke pot as well? No. You don't. don't smoke pot, just mushrooms? No, I don't think it's fun. Really? Yeah. How yeah. often do you do mushrooms? Like once a year. Really? And yeah. so how did you and Destiny meet? Uh, we met in New Zealand. So I reached out to him on social media, and then we met in New Zealand. Two years ago, three, yeah. almost three years ago. Yeah. Amazing. Um, I was, I watched one of your videos last night because I just to get a little idea of what you do oh. mm -hmm. and you are on your Instagram or, or your Twitch streamer thing. You give out advice to other women and men, how to have sex, right? <laughs> okay. Isn't that true? I, I want to be sure I'm clear on this. So, sometimes they ask. Yes, and then I respond. And so you said something in the video I thought you were joking about. Oh, you, okay. you said that you've slept with 50 men and women? <laughs> yeah, probably. At 23 probably years that. old? Yeah, fun. And, Doesn't that sound a lot of fun? And how did you manage to do that? I met people and had sex with them. And so what is it like sleep, sleeping with, with 50 men and women or 50 men and some women? I mean, it's like I get better and better every single time, you know? So uh -huh. like maybe in the start it wasn't that good. And then later on, I was really good. So you really slept with 50 men? No, women as well. 50 men and women? Yeah. And what is that like? You said it's fun? Yeah. Amazing. Have you tried it? I'm sorry? Have you slept with 50 men and women? No way. Why? Why should I? Yeah, why? What are you looking for that causes no, you to why? do that? Why haven't you slept with 50 men? Because I've been a slut maker, but... <laughs> You've I, been a slut... Oh, I, so I, you I, have slept around with a lot of women. Yeah, I, I have with a lot of women, but yeah. not that many. Was it fun? I, it was, was it fun, fun? sometimes. Yeah, see, so that's what you yeah. the same way. And so you feel good, you have fun sleeping all with the men and women? Yes, as you have also fun when you're sleeping around with men and women. I've never slept with men. It's not like Why? you. Why do you keep saying that? You're saying something that's not true. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just asking if it's true. Why I, you, I slept with some, why, why, what's wrong I slept with, with slut. Did you know that women who sleep around like that are sluts? That sounds like a lot of fun in that case. I can be a slut. I'm having a lot of fun. You know, my, will you be a slut? He's also a slut. So what? He sleeps with men and women. Too. I, he sleeps with men and women? Yeah. And so he's a slut maker. No, uh, he's a slut as well. <laughs> Isn't that true, Destiny? I, I guess in your world, yeah, that, that's what I'd be, Jesse. And so do you sleep with men and women? Yep. And why do you why are you doing it with both people? Both men and women? It's fun. Why not? Twice as much fun, Jesse. And, but why is it just fun to do it? Yeah, sure. What yeah. Once you get married, would you continue to do that? Yes. Oh, probably, yeah. Really? Sure. Just, I, I read that, and I, did, I don't know if I knew this or not. At one time, you were a Christian. Long time ago. Like, until I was 16, maybe. I went to Catholic school. And then what happened? I grew up a little bit, started asking questions. I mean, you kind of lose your religion pretty quickly when you go through that process, I think. Really? And, and, and you just didn't believe in God anymore? Yeah, not much. Oh, I see. And uh, Melina, do you, are you a Christian? No. Do you believe in God? No. Do Absolutely you have not. morals and values? No. You don't really. have any morals? Wait, you don't have morals and values? 
No. <laughs> you kind of do. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. You would like murder someone, but right? Not, yeah, sure. But not, I don't believe in God or anything, though. But do you it's have not, more? Yeah, it's not a very common thing in Sweden to like be super religious or like believe in God. We're pretty like not into that stuff. Really? Yeah. And... So like if you were, uh, I remember there was like one guy in my class that was religious and he got bullied because it was like pathetic because you're believing in Santa Claus, basically. Jesus. The same. Yeah, but he did get bullied because he believed in God. Wow. And did your, your parents don't believe in God either? No. What no. is it like to grow up without a belief in God? Uh, I get to have a lot of more fun than most people do. Yeah. So really? I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and what do you do when you have those empty moments when that kind of stuff doesn't satisfy you anymore? I take it's, mushrooms. You take mushrooms? Yeah. And, and do you take mushroom too, Destiny? Sometimes, yeah. Really? Were you yep. taking mushroom before you met Melina? Yep. And why do you take mushrooms? It's a fun experience. And what do you do with your empty moments? Uh, I don't really have empty moments. I got I work a ton. I do things for fun on the side. Like I got people to hang out with. Like yeah, I don't really have empty moments. Do you guys plan to have children once you get married? Probably yeah. eventually, yeah. And will you cut out all this other stuff once you have children? Um, I mean, like when you have children, like you probably can't do as much. Because but you don't have I mean, time, right? yeah, it depends on what's going on. Like we're not gonna have like the kid crawling around the living room while we're like high on mushrooms, like you know, <laughs> crawling around and stuff. That's not gonna happen. Yeah. Amazing. And so, Destiny, I didn't know you already had a child. Mm -hmm. As a boy or girl? Boy. And how old is he? 10 years old. You spend time with him? Um, yeah, I used to a lot when he was younger, but then since I moved to California, I just have to fly out there basically every time I travel. Oh, I see. Uh, so are you, when you do see him, you're pretty close to him? He's close to you? Are you close to him? Yeah, I think so, yeah. We're, sometimes we stream together when I go down. He likes to like goof off on stream and stuff. And then we talk on the phone and whatnot, yeah. That's amazing. Um, Destiny, what's, uh, so you have no morals. I, I mean, I think I have morals, but. No, not you, but Destiny. I mean, not you, but Melina. Melina. Oh, I do. I, yeah, I have morals, sure. What are you, where do you get your morals from? Um, I treat people around me like I want to be treated, you know? And how is that? Like slaps? <laughs> like. <laughs> I sleep with people so they can sleep with me. Is that what you mean? Do you get paid to, do you, do people pay you to sleep with you or is it free? Do you, why, 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 why do you think I would get paid to sleep with people? But I, I'm just asking, I don't know because I don't, I, I don't know you. Right, I know but Destiny. Do you so. think, yeah. But do you think like for a woman to sleep with a lot of people, she needs to get paid because she doesn't want to? Not today because uh, the lack of value. So you you can get it free now anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So no, you, I've never I've never been paid to sleep with someone. I no. I heard you say in your Instagram thing that you've been you were raped. Oh, yeah, one time. And how and how old were you? How did that happen? I was uh, sixteen years old. So is, is that's why you're doing what you're doing now. Oh, you think that I have like issues, like sexual issues or something? Nah, I'm pretty fine. It's pretty, it's pretty chill. So that's not. I got, a, I got a therapy for a little bit there, but it was all good. So were you able to overcome that trauma? Yeah. How do you know you've sure. overcome that? Because whenever something similar has happened, I punched the guys in the face. So you've been, uh, they have tried to rape you. Other guys have tried to. Well, rape not you. rape, but like sexually harassed or something. And usually, I just like do something about it. Yeah. And so if you are having sex with so many people, how do you know if you're being raped or not? Oh, because I <laughs> want it. When I see dick, I want it. When I see pussy, I want it. That's the that's the difference, you know? So uh, you are a millennial. Is that millennial age? No. Um, I think she might be Generation I'm a Z. Zoomer, yeah. So in Sweden, most of the Generation Zs have the same attitude about sex and life as yeah, you do i'd say so we're uh swedes are way more open when it comes to nudity and when it comes to sexual activity and stuff yes it's not like it's not uncommon to meet swedes that has the same like count number as i do yeah well, no it's wonder different culture no wonder yeah. sweden is going to hell in a handbasket you think so yeah it has no values what it's the... fun. have you uh, have you ever seen midsummer 
the movie it's no very I accurate. have no I have not yeah it's like we have like a cult up here and we sleep around and that's what we do and we throw people off cliffs yeah that's what we do did you know you like up there in Sweden Destin do I live up here do you like it there oh yeah I think it's okay yeah would you prefer America or Sweden um, I'm probably America because my son lives there because that's where like everything I know is. But I, I think there's pros and cons to both places. So do you and Melina have threesomes and all that kind of stuff? Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Justin, I'm surprised at you. Well, I thought we went over all this last time. I'm a degenerate, <laughs> Jesse. Wait, I don't. Surprised? I don't remember that. I, I, maybe I half just half man, half woman, right? And so what was it that attracted you when you first saw Melina, knowing that she'd been with so many guys and ladies? What was it that attracted you to her? I mean, I don't, that's not stuff I usually care about. Like how, like what somebody's body count is. It's not usually something I worry about. Um, I don't know. We hung out a lot and we had fun a lot. And that's enough for me to like get to know somebody better. So she came to America afterwards. And then we continued to hang out. Our relationship got deeper. And yeah. So you guys are not in love with other people. You're just in love with one another and you have sex with everybody and the mama. Exactly. I only love three people, Jesse. And who's that? Melina, my son, Nathan, and black people. <laughs> oh, you love just black people? Yeah, I do. Melina, you Amazing. love black people? Oh, yes. Do you I love, love white people? Yes. You do? I love everyone. Are there black people in Sweden? Yes. A few of them. A few. Because black people don't like cold weather. Well. Well, okay. Some of them do here, I guess. <laughs> and so, um, I don't know what to say to you guys. This is so interesting. Does this ever, does sex ever get bored to you guys? Yeah, that's why you have it with lots of people. So it doesn't <laughs> get boring. How about you, Melina? No, I don't think I don't think it gets boring. How if you such a slut, how are you gonna be a good wife and mother? I mean, I think I'm pretty good right now. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty I'm gonna be pretty good when I'm a wife and a mother as well, no? But how? How? Yeah. What do you think my sex life has to do with my kid? You're not gonna have time to raise kids because you're gonna constantly be having sex. Wait, do you think I'm like every like, OK, wait, how many men do you think I've had sex with today? Today? Yeah. I don't if I've know. Had 50, if, I've, if I've slept with 50 people in my life since I was what is it, 16 years old, how many people a day do you think I fuck? Uh, if I took a guess, I would say about 10 today. You're not about 10. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, how does that math work in that case? How I many days is just, in a year? I'm just, I'm just guessing. And like in five years, if there's 50 people, <laughs> but, how, how can I have a new one all the time? Because you're going to like, move away it? from 10. You're trying to reach 100 by the end of the year, right? <laughs> no, it's not It's not 50 in a year. It's 50 since, I would, like, since a decade. Do yeah. you get you get sad sometimes? Uh Everyone, do you get sad sometimes too? Everyone gets sad sometimes. No. Do you get sad sometimes? Yeah. And what makes you sad at times? Uh, stress makes me sad. It, stress makes you sad? Yeah. Justin, how do you deal with the hell when it comes out of Molina? <laughs> Jesse, I'm really bad when it comes to that stuff. Usually I say we just need to take like a few <laughs> hours apart and chill. And then we usually just come back and talk about whatever's going on. And so you're not able to help her to overcome her hell? I don't think she's going through hell. Um, unless you mean dating me is going through hell, which I, maybe it kind of is. <laughs> um, but um, no, I mean, like, she figures out a lot of stuff on her own. Like, we can talk about things. I'm very like, independent, Jesse. Yeah. You're very independent? Yeah. And so how does he deal with the hell when it comes out of you, when you're just mad about nothing? No, I just usually stay quiet. You don't take it out on him? No. You don't? No. Is that true, Destiny? No. <laughs> Why would I still be with somebody like that? That'd be horrible. Millennial, can you see yourself being a wife that stay at home and cook and iron and clean the like house? Cooking. I and, like cleaning, but I do not like cooking. Oh, you don't? Do no. you cook, Destiny? I mean, I can, but usually we just order food. It's a lot of time. So what are you going to do when you get the kids? Are you going to just order food or cook? Well, we probably could cook if we want. It's not like it's hard to learn, right? 
It's hard for men to learn. I don't know about for women. It's a, I don't think it's hard for men to learn. If you go into any restaurant, you go back to the kitchen. It's like 90% men cooking back there. Right? Well, they had to go to school for that. No, you don't have to go to school to learn to cook at IHOP or Wait, Village Do you know how to make spaghetti? <laughs> do I? Do you know how to make spaghetti? How do you make spaghetti? I don't know. I know that you, I've never done it, but I think you're really? supposed to borrow the water because cooking is a woman's thing. Really? Yeah. I mean, I know plenty of men that's really, really good at cooking. And Wait, a lot of women that does Well, I know some of them are good cook, but they did it as a career. They went to school. They Maybe learned how to... this is your new interest that you're going to try when you get home today, and you will figure out that you love cooking. I seriously doubt that. Why? Why? You haven't tried it, so you don't know it. I, I mean, it just, it seemed like a boring thing. It seemed more really? like a, It seemed more like a woman thing to do. Wait, would you say that a woman's life is boring? Today's woman life is born because you can see that they're all empty and unhappy. Do, do I look empty and unhappy to you? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why? I don't know. When I saw your video yesterday or uh, last night and I heard what you were saying, I felt a sense of sadness for you. Oh, thank you. And I don't, I'm not judging you about it because I understand you, you're not, you don't believe in God. So Satan is your daddy. Your parents didn't, didn't guide you the right way. So I understand it. I just felt it wasn't something that I was happy to hear. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I, I wish see. everybody well. And I can't imagine you having peace, sleeping with that many people. And now you say you're doing drugs and all that. So you can't. Wait, do, you, do you like orgasms? Like who? Do you like orgasms? No. Really? Uh-uh. So why did you sleep with 50 women then? I never slept with 50 women. You said you were a slut maker. I, but not 50 women. I mean, when I was growing Good up, plenty. women, when I was growing up, women were not as empty and sleazy as they are today. How many women did you make into sluts, Jesse? If I took a guess between 17 and 20 something, I would say about. How could you do that to I those would women? say about. Five or ten at best. How could you make them so empty and sad? So we know. You did that to them. You made them sad and empty. Why did you do that to them? Well, at that time, I prob I was sad myself at that time because so that's why I was doing it. you take your sadness out on these women? But, uh, yeah. Most of the time when men take advantage of women like that is because they're looking for something, too. And they both the men and the women are looking for something that they never find in that way. But I want to ask you this, uh, Melina, Melina, hmm? do you vote? Do I what? Vote. Vote. Oh, yeah, of course. So you uh, are you more of liberal or conservative? Uh, liberal. What do you, yeah. what, uh, and what is a liberal exactly? Uh, to me, uh, I don't know, actually. What would you describe as us? Well, like what do the left-leaning people in Sweden stand for over like the right-leaning um, people? Okay, technically it's like, not liberal here it's like left no like yeah it's like left. we like we have a different kind of political system in sweden so we have like multiple parties and you vote for like one basically and then there's like more left ones and then there's more middle ones and more right ones and yeah. um what's your impression of the um i guess right or conservative in sweden what's your impression mm. of them I actually don't, I don't really know many super conservative people and the people that call themselves conservatives are more liberal actually than they are right or like, yeah, conservative. Oh, I see. So you, yeah, so you, it's don't, a bit different. you don't pay a lot of attention to politics? I used to more. And why did you stop? I got all their interests. I see. Yeah. Destiny, you, you are still liberal, right? Yep. Really? And at one time, were you a conservative when you were a Christian? Yeah, when I was like 14, 15, 16, yeah. Really? And so once you stopped being a Christian, that's why you changed party or? No, actually, I, I slowly became more left-leaning probably when I was like in my early 20s. What does your parents think of you now as opposed to then? Well, my parents always loved me, but I mean, obviously, they wish I was more conservative. Really? That's yeah. That's amazing, man. You know Larry Elder, right? You know who he is, Destiny? I feel like I've heard the name. Wait, remind me, no. He's running for governor of California. There's oh, a recall okay. on Gavin Newsom. Gavin Newsom, yeah. 
And so Larry is a, uh, he, ha- he is black, but he is conservative. And the liberals here are, are having a fit. They don't want Larry in there. They're treating him in the way, because you know liberals are evil, right? And so they're treating him in the way that they treated Donald Trump, uh, attacking him, fighting, throwing the eggs at him and things like that. What do you think about that? Uh, I, I honestly, I don't know much about what Larry stands for. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm pretty sure Newsom is winning the recall. I don't think he's going to get recalled. So, yeah, I, I haven't followed the California stuff much. Well, I'm not sure if he's going to win or not, because uh, when they got the petition, the signature tool to, uh, to put on this election to have the recall, uh, it was re- Republicans and Democrats and liberals and independents who wanted him out because of the mess he's made of California. Oh, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. I, I haven't read much on it recently, but I, my understanding is that right now the recall is like going pretty poorly and he's probably still going to be there. I wouldn't believe the media. We'll wait and see, but I wouldn't believe the media. You know, they, they lied about Donald Trump in the same way. Oh, yeah? You think he won the election? <laughs> There's the bear in the woods. Uh, there's the bear. Okay. Uh, I can't say the word. Malia, uh, Malia are you a feminist? Okay. Yeah. You are a feminist. And what is a yeah. feminist? When you say you're a feminist, what does that mean? Equal rights to me. That's what it means to me. Equal rights? Yeah, I like rights. And like, I don't think you should be forced into like a certain sort of person as like what matter like gender you have. What do you mean by that? Like you're saying that women belongs in the kitchen. I don't think that necessarily have to be that way. I think people should be born and be able to do whatever they want. Oh, that sounds okay. like more fun to me. That's more fun. You just all about fun. Yeah, isn't that what life is about? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> really? But I understand Why? you're 23. Why is that? I understand you're 23. You're young, and so I can see why you would see it that way. So I do understand oh. it. Destiny, are you a feminist? Yeah, I guess so, Jesse. And what does that mean to you? Um, I think that women and men should be able to pursue what they want pretty equally in society. Really? And you really? don't think there should be any guidelines at all? I mean, I think the guidelines, as long as people are getting along well, people are happy, people are doing what they want to do, people feel like they can do what they want to do without other people bullying them for it, I think it's good. Uh, Melina, have you heard of Black Lives Matter? Yeah. And it's a far left liberal radical organization that was founded by Is a bunch radical? of radical? Yeah, okay. they were founded by a bunch of fat black radical lesbians. What's oh. your impression of them? Um so, yeah. I'd say it sounds hot. What? It sounds hot. Yeah. Sounds what? Good. It's cool. It sounds cool. Yeah. Oh, I see. So yeah. you, you like that group? Yeah. You agree with them? Yeah. So uh, are you okay that they um, terrorize the country? They attack police officers? They I rob? I think it's good when they do like harm towards like pro- like properties and stuff. But I think that's good. How but, about I mean, when they do harm? I think people should be able to say what they want. I think people should be able to, uh, yeah, like demonstrate if they want to, if they're unhappy with something. Amazing. And are you for defunding the cops? This is this is like American politics, Jesse. Oh, you don't quite yeah. understand American politics. I mean, I can understand it, but I wouldn't want to, like, it's not really my place yet. So you can... I- uh, Ask they, the do they have Black Lives Matter in Sweden? In Sweden? Not in the same way, no, because it's not really. Um, I feel like America has a kind of a different sort of culture when it comes to people and like ethnicity and stuff compared to Sweden. Like we don't really have, like we didn't really, we don't have the same history, so it's a bit different. Oh, I see. So you guys yeah. don't have the race issue there. Not in the same way as America, I don't think so. So do you believe there's such thing as racism? Yeah, of course. And what is racism? Um, when you don't think that someone, like, what do, how do I explain it? Um, when you don't think that someone has, like, as much value because of their, their color. I think that's bad. <laughs> and so in, in Sweden, a handful of blacks that are there, they feel equal to white people? 
I think so, yeah. Um, I, we, I don't really see many complaints. I mean, we have we have like a different thing. It's not like I don't think they experience as much. I don't think I don't think so. Like What's the thing there when you say a different thing? What is the thing in Sweden? Oh, I think there's more racism towards like other ethnicities than just black people. Oh, uh, you yeah. have are there a lot of Abba people there? A lot what? Uh, a lot are there a lot? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And do do white people get along with the Allah U Abba people? Not everyone, no. And what is the issue between uh, the Muslims and the white people there? Um, I mean, it's not like everyone, but there's definitely like some people that does not like them, like white people that does not like them, and, and then there's some like people on the other side that doesn't like white. But it's like. And why is it? Why don't white people like them, and why don't they like white people? Probably because differences and probably like just social differences and probably just um, a lot of judgmental thoughts, I'd assume. Are you for open borders? Um, I think anyone should be able to immigrate to a country, like as long as they're like, what do I say? Like, um, like following like the laws, like the rules. That they're what? I'm sorry, speak up a little bit. Like, I, I think you should be able to immigrate to a country, yes. So as long you're as following the laws. Of yeah. Country. So you have four open borders. Is that open borders? Would you call it that? Yeah. So when people say uh, open borders in America, usually they're talking about like mass migration of like everybody moving somewhere sometimes. Right. I, which is yeah, I don't usually, really know what it means. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's not, Destiny, it's are you yeah. still for open borders? I, I'm okay with people moving as long as we can like, as long as there's enough room for them and as long as they're like willing to work and stuff. I think that's good. Yeah. How about open borders? Uh, sure. So just let anyone in no matter what. No, I mean, they have to be willing to work. They can't have like a terrorist or criminal background or anything. Like we still check, of course, but it shouldn't only be like, you know, only so many people a year get in if we can take more like workers or people that want to move here and do stuff. So. Do you think the government should take care of them when they get here? No, I don't think so. Our government is doing that. How do you feel about that? Uh, I don't think that's true, Justine. You don't think what's true? I don't think the government takes care of people that move to the United States. There's a pretty, not, not legally and probably not even illegally. So you don't know that the government of America is allowing all these people to come in from everywhere and giving them free houses, free education, free everything? You're not aware none, of that? None of that stuff is free. What do you mean? The government, we are paying for it. You're right. The tax, we are, the workers wait, are no, paying wait, wait, for wait, wait. it. If you want to talk about any particular issue, we can, but we don't pay for education. People in school districts pay for education. If you're paying rent in an apartment or if you own a house, or you're paying rent for a house, you're paying for your education. It comes out of your property taxes. We are paying for illegal aliens and for lazy people that don't want to work. How do, how do illegal aliens get into a school district unless they're paying for a house? Our government let them in. No, I you're, don't think so. You're you so busy address. having sex, you're not aware of what's going on. Jesse, I have a kid. I know what it's like to enroll a child in school. You have got to show proof of an address in order to qualify for a school district. Not you if can't just go to a random public school. Not if you're an illegal alien. Only the citizens have to do that. I've never heard that in my life, Jesse. I don't think that's the case, but. Wait, do you have kids? Do I? Yeah. Yes. I have uh, a son. He's married what? and he has two kids. Well, one adult. Well, both adults now. And I have a great grandson. My granddaughter is married, so I have a great grandson. Amazing. Amazing. Nice. So, Destin, you're not aware that our government, we are paying for illegal aliens, right? I don't think we pay. There might be loopholes, but generally, no, we don't pay for illegal aliens to go to school. But I mean, like, again, like you have to show an address typically, unless there's some place that does it differently. But when you go to register a, ch a child at a school, you have to show your address to prove that you live in the district. Is it possible to be living here and not know? Is Destin joking around with it? <laughs> He's serious? So it's possible to live in America and not know this? Jesse, you have, I've enrolled a kid in school. I know how this works. When you go to enroll a child, their first grade or kindergarten at school, you have to show your address where you live so that they know you live in the school district. You can't just go to a random school and say, I want my kid to go here. And they're like, oh, okay. Like you have to show you live there in, in that district. Jesse, are you aware that illegal aliens are getting IDs, like driver's license and things like that? Yeah, if you get a fake ID or you lie about something, you might be able to, but that's different than letting them do it. You understand, right? No, you can. Uh, an illegal alien can go to the DMV and get it without having a fake ID. 
I know that you for a get, fact. That's not a fake. That's not a fake ID. That's like a driver's license, but that still doesn't get you into a school. Well, you need to come home, man, and, and pay attention. I pay attention, Jesse. No wonder we're in the losing state of the Cali country. In the state of California, I think, I didn't follow this the other way, but I think in the state of California, I think you can get some forms of identification, even if you're an illegal alien. But that just because you have an ID doesn't mean you get into a school or can get your kids to do a school. You've got to show residency to do that. Wow. Man, oh. when you come home, you make sure you start paying attention to things. All right. All I'll right. do that, Jesse. Okay. Uh, uh, Melania. Do you support abortion? Um, like the yeah, I think you should be able to have an abortion. Yes. Really? Have you ever yeah. had one? No. And why do you think it's okay for a woman to kill a man's child in the womb? Is it not her child as well? No, it belongs to the man. <laughs> Wait, am I a baby making machine? Yes. <laughs> Steve, why did you tell me this? Well. Um. I, I think it's your body, your choice. What do you mean your body, your choice? What does that mean? Like imagine, okay, Jesse, imagine if you were a woman and you were raped and got pregnant. Do you think you do not have the rights to uh, remove that child from you? No, because she doesn't have a right to do that. Even Why? if she was raped, she can put the baby up for adoption rather than killing the baby in the womb. What if a 12 year old got raped by her dad? Should that 12 year old have to have the kid? I doubt if that happens. They oh, come on, Jesse. Of course it happens. Yeah. You're doing a lot of ifs. I don't think that happens. No, it you don't think happen. You don't think minorities get raped, or not minorities, you don't think that minors get raped sometimes by older people? Not by their fathers. Okay, may, so? let's say let's say it's not by their father. Let's say a 12-year-old gets raped by a teacher or something. Do you think they should be forced to have that kid? Well, I don't like doing if. I would rather wait and see and deal with it if and when it happens because... Well, that's what we do when we talk know, about making abortion laws, Jesse. Yeah. You don't know how you're going to feel about a situation until you have to deal with the situation. Sure, but, but shouldn't they have the right then to figure it out rather than the state tell them you're not allowed to do anything? Well, killing a child in the womb is an evil thing to do. And we owe it to the child to give that child a chance to have a life. And Wait, what about, if a, what not, about if a not, child gets a child and then um, you know that this, this child is going to die if they give birth? That's and the that only time problem. that I would grant an abortion if they knew for sure that the mother would lose her life. And since the mother's already living, she deserves to live. So that's the only time I think an abortion should be permitted. But when you say it's her body, her choice, how is it her body? Because it's my spirit, right, that is in this body. How is it your you body? Know? I'm not understanding that. This is my body. Like yeah. I can move around. Like I'm, I'm existing like the humans. So it's my body. Did you create the body? No, my mom did. How did your mother create the body? She had sex with my dad. But how did she create the body? She just laid up and got pregnant. She she didn't do anything. How did she create the body to oh, make it her own mean? body? My whole body is going to carry a child and create the child. Don't you think my body is putting work into creating the child? But you didn't create the body. You're not telling me how you created the body. Of course I did inside of my body. Like my body created my child. How is that? Obviously. How, how, how does it Jesse, work? when's the last time you took a biology class? Yeah. What do you how think babies come about? I'm trying to figure out, I hear women say, my body, my choice. And I'm yeah. when women can tell me how they created their body, then I can agree that they can kill the baby. How did you create your body, uh, my body Melina? My, bo my body created my child in my... No, how house. did you... You said your I body, your, your choice. Body. How, I, how oh, did my you mom create did. your my body? My parents created me, right? I was in my mom's womb, right? And then she created me. She did was you, carrying me for nine months. Didn't Wait, didn't your wife do this? Did you realize that you did not create... It's no such thing as my body, my choice. You didn't create wait, your you body. Don't, oh, you're telling me that I did not create my body. Women don't create their own bodies. You're just a saying. Well, who's creating not... the body? God. <sighs> but if you don't believe in God. That doesn't mean he doesn't exist because you don't believe he in him. He doesn't exist. Do you believe in Santa? It, I, oh, I can't wait until December's come. <laughs> wait, do you the, believe in Santa? You don't believe there's a Santa either? No, I don't believe in Santa. Do you believe in Santa? Oh, yes. 
No wonder you don't get anything for Christmas. <laughs> That's true. Why didn't you give me anything for Christmas? <laughs> because you don't believe in Santa. <laughs> okay. So if both of you believe the same way, we're going how, to hell. How are, gonna, Justin, how are you going to lead her if you think and believe in all the wrong things that she thinks and believes in? How will you be of help to her? How, wait, how will I help Sorry. Melina if she thinks the wrong thing? I mean, you're thinking all the wrong things that she's thinking. How will you lead her in the right way to go? I don't think we're thinking the wrong things, Jesse. I think we think pretty clearly about these things. Yeah. And you think that abortion is fine? Um. Yeah. And you believe that a woman has a right to kill a child in the womb? I mean, I don't consider it like a living person yet, so yeah. But And so you think that a woman has the right to do that? Yeah. Amazing. Um, Millennia, do you believe in right and wrong? Um, that's a complicated question. Like, I believe in right and wrong to, like, have a society that is functional. But what I don't you, think there's anything written, like, in a Bible or anything like that that's, like, right and wrong. What do you mean by you believe in right or wrong? Like, you know that you shouldn't kill someone because if we kill, like, if people were able to kill other people in the society, people would just die. It wouldn't be a positive thing, right? Kind of like abortion, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, no one, no one cries, okay? Amazing. A, the, the child hasn't had an experience yet. The so soul of the child dead. cries when the mother is murdered in the womb. But I don't believe in a soul. Amazing. I don't believe anything such thing exists. So then why you don't, why you have an issue with human beings killing one another? Uh, because we experience things and I don't want to get killed. So if I'm walking around killing people, I could get killed. I don't want to get killed. I want to live. And so is there another example of right and wrong that you believe? Um... So you have to be a bit more specific. You say you do believe in right and wrong. Yeah, there's so a like right have a functional and there's a wrong. Society. Is there another example you could give me besides killing human beings, killing one another? Is there another um, example of right and wrong? Not that I can come up with at the moment. I need more. Specific. So that's the only thing you can think of. I mean, like basic laws, right? Yeah, you I guess. Steal from people, rape people, yeah, like, like hit that, people, guess. crash cars. Drink like not crap. hurt other people or try to like make someone else's life worse to like gain something from them, I guess. Amazing. And where does right and wrong come from? It comes from figuring out like what would be the best for everyone around us. That's how I see it. Repeat that. Like I want, like if we're gonna have, if we're, I'm gonna live in a society where there's plenty of people, um, I want there to be laws so I feel safe, so other people feel safe, so everyone can be happy. That's how I see it. Amazing. Um, do you believe that women have love? Yes. You do believe that women have, have love. I have so much love. I and, have so much love. And how do you know you have love? Because I can feel in my whole body. And and what does that feel like? Uh, it feels like MDMA, <laughs> if you've ever tried that. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it feels nice. It feels cozy. It's, uh, I feel happy. And A lot of emotions, yeah. And when you're not feeling happy, is that love? Um, I think, hey, like, I think being feeling unhappy sometimes and sad is completely fine. That's completely normal. That's why I say it. And like, you have to feel like you have to have some bad days if you want to have a lot of good days, you know? Is that love? When, are you? Is that love when you're feeling that way? Uh, yeah, sure. I really? mean, what what do you what do you think love is? Do you believe that there is a? You don't believe there is a God. Do you believe no. there is a Satan? No. Uh, do you believe there is an evil? Um, not really. And you don't believe there is a good or evil, or just a evil. I think that that's hard to answer because I don't think there's anything like certain. Like, it's not like you know that there is something good or bad. Things kind of just is, in my opinion. But then, of course, you can like feel better about some things and feel worse about others, depending on who you are as a person, right? So you don't believe there's good or evil, right? I guess. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So if you don't believe that, why is it wrong for another human being to kill another? Um, because I don't want to get killed. I want to live, right? 
people do things for different reasons i, but, I think it's more i think usually what, what people the? do what so what now oh i think usually people do things for selfish reasons so imagine if um imagine if something happens to someone that you care about and you feel revenge to that person so you go kill that person is that like evil like to kill someone in that case amazing because something else like that person did something else i think it all depends on the situation usually people do things for their own like emotions and selfishness i don't think they consider themselves as evil or anything like that i think they're possessed by some sort of thing to become evil when the allah u abba people uh beat women and blow up people and cut their heads off is that good or evil I get, it's bad is it good or evil i think it's bad what does bad mean like not good <laughs> <laughs> amazing that's amazing so destiny what's your impression of joe biden at this point doing a great job jesse american hero really and what yeah. what is he doing that's good the coronavirus relief was amazing I think that it's like there's like a huge percentage of children that have been uplifted from uncertain like living conditions because of the uh, child tax credit increase and the monthly payments that are going up from that. And I think that the new massive infrastructure bill that they're trying to negotiate would also be really amazing if they can get that passed. And what else is he doing that you're so impressed with? Well, I mean, the, the, those are the two major legislative accomplishments so far that we're looking for. Yeah. And and. And because they're giving away so much free money, well, not free money, Obama tax dollars, those who work, uh, a lot of small businesses are going out of business so that now they can't, people don't want to work because they're getting all this money. Is that a good thing? I don't think that's why people don't want to work, Jesse. I don't think that's happening. Well, why, they were working prior to getting the free money. Why they don't want to work if it's not the fact are scared due to, get, to the free a people, money? A lot of people are scared of getting sick. A lot of people, when they stopped working during the pandemic, they just retired. They're like, yeah, we don't have to work anymore. Just retire, take social security because we got a lot of boomers that are getting old. Um, yeah, but they've looked at states where they've cut like the unemployment insurance early and it's not like a whole bunch of people started working. So I don't think people are just collecting free money not working. I think a lot of people just dropped out of the job market and yeah. Are you just making this up as you go right now? You're all not data. making you any like, sense at all. Jesse, it all makes sense. You're gonna look at the data if you want. And so what else? <laughs> I, I Man, how old are you, Man. Destiny? 30, 32. And, and Melina, Melina is 23. Yep. Yeah. Amazing. Um, what else is Joe Biden doing that you're happy about, Destiny? Um, I mean, right now, the major thing is negotiating that infrastructure bill. So just That's the money stuff is the only thing you're happy about? I mean, economic policy are the two biggest things right now that I think we have to worry about in the United States. Yeah. So those are the, those are the huge things that I'm looking for. Um, I mean, he doesn't have much else to do in Congress right now besides that major bill. Cause I don't think anything else big is on the table right now. So. What do you think about the way he handled the war in Afghan? I mean, um, I respect Ending that he actually, war. what? The way he ended the war, that whole situation right now, how did Yeah, I mean, I respect that he finally pulled out, but um, I mean, it was rough, but it was always going to be rough. There was no easy way out of there. And how do you feel knowing that he left American citizens over there? I don't think there are American citizens that are left there that can't get back. I don't, or I don't know. I don't think that's the case, but. It's definitely real. This is not our destiny. This is someone else with the beard. Okay. Is this a real destiny? It's the real destiny. So you, you don't believe there he left any Americans over there? I, my understanding is if you're American and you're trying to get back to the United States, you should be able to. There, now, there are other people that might not be able to get visas or stuff, like people that helped us and whatnot. But I don't think there's a ton of Americans stranded. I mean, there might be a few, but I don't, I don't think there's that many. And when you say a few, how, how many do you think there, there might be? I, I don't know, like in the dozens? I, I, I'm, I'd be surprised if there were that many, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to check. Are you checking now? Yeah, I'm looking it up. Yeah. Uh, um, if he's left one behind, is that the right thing to do? 
Um, I mean, it, I mean, it's never going to be perfect, right? If we left one behind, is that the right thing to do? As opposed to staying there forever? Yeah. So as opposed to staying there forever, you're okay with him leaving one American behind? Yes. Really? And why is that? Because, I mean, we could either have like more soldiers dying over there and dump more money over there, or we could finally pull out. I don't think you're ever going to get a situation where you get like 100% of every single person. Like, I don't think that's going to happen. And, and why is that? just because things happen. I don't know that either somebody's visa doesn't get approved or somebody couldn't make it to the airport or somebody's in another city and they get cut off or I don't know, anything can happen. I, I would have to look at every single city in Afghanistan and figure out why every single person isn't able to get back or not. It's being reported that Joe Biden knew he was going to bring the men home from uh, the military there, but he didn't bring home the citizens first. He just brought the men home and, and brought some of those reference, so-called Afghan refugees or whatever they were, loaded them up and brought them back, but not uh, a lot of the American citizens. Uh, if that's true, what do you think about that? I mean, I think that'd be pretty bad. So I, I just looked this up because I'm curious. So right now about a thousand people, um, which is American citizens and Afghans holding visas to the U.S. are like waiting for approval to get flights. They're waiting for clearance. But I mean, I guess we'll see like in the next few weeks, like how many people get left behind or how many people can't back, get back to the United States. Or they what? have already been left behind. The Taliban uh, control in Afghan now, including the airports, the highways, the roadways and everything. So the American think, citizens yeah, cannot you even Taliban get... Are gonna, you don't think the Taliban are going to let them out? You think they want to keep them all there to bring the U.S. soldiers back, to bring I, the American military back? I think that it's being reported that our country offered them money and said they were going to give them buku money. And apparently, and I don't know how true that is or not, but they have not done that. And so now the Afghans are blocking even the private planes from coming in or out to, to get the American citizens that Joe Biden left behind. What do you think of that? I, I hopefully we get them out. We'll try to get them out, I guess. But. And one other thing that you say Joe Biden is doing is so wonderful. My biggest focuses right now are related to like the coronavirus stuff, which is also related to the economic stuff. That's what I'm looking at right now. So the coronavirus bill was good. And then the um, and then the infrastructure bill is what's being negotiated. Right now. that's the big thing that I'm looking for. Amazing. Did you take the shot? Uh, yeah, both of them. You did. And what yep. made you decide to take them? I wanted to see what kind of powers I would develop. I want to see how I evolved what kind of X-Men I'd become. <laughs> but I just don't want to get sick, Jesse. Amazing. Uh, Melania, Melania, did you take it too? Yeah, of course. And why did you take it? Because I don't want to die. I don't want to get sick. I don't want to kill anyone else with the virus. Really? Amazing. Yeah. Well, if you you know, you want to take it. So I got to ask this because we're starting to run out of time. Melania, mm -hmm. uh, Melania what is a man? What is a man? What is a man? I don't really... Th a man is something that humans has made up of a stereotype of what a person that is born with a penis is supposed to be. That's how I see that. Yeah. Destiny, what is a man? Whatever you want it to be, Jesse. No, I'm asking you. What is it? Not a woman. Uh, Melina, what is a woman? The same answer, but just put in woman there instead of a man. And say vagina instead of penis. Uh, is that complicated? <laughs> uh, Destiny, what is a woman? Uh, whatever, whatever isn't a man, Jesse. Whatever what? Whatever is not a man, Jesse. Really? Uh, uh, Melania, have you heard of Bruce Jenner? Yeah. Is that a man or a woman? A woman. And what made him a woman? She said that she was a woman. She and, felt like a woman. She <laughs> then she is a woman. And so, because he said he is a woman, you believe it's a woman. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever heard of femboys? <laughs> heard of what? Have you ever heard of femboys? I'm just curious. Of what? Femboys. No. It's like a, like guys, that likes to dress up feminine. That's what Bruce like Jenner is. No. What is Bruce Jenner? Is just, he a feminist? You, is he uh, a no, feminist? Bruce, Bruce Jenner is a woman. What made him a woman? Because he said it? Yes. 
Amazing. Uh, what is love? Wait, didn't we really? Didn't we already have this conversation? What is love? Real fast. Real love. Fast. <laughs> love. Love is a feeling. Really. Uh, yeah. uh, Destiny and Bruce Jenner, a man or a woman? I think Caitlyn Jenner is a I'm pretty sure a woman. Yeah. And why do you believe he is a woman? They identify as one, and they present as one. So. So just because he said it, that make him a woman. She said it and she presents as it, yeah? Amazing. So I got to put both of you guys on the hot seat. And uh -oh. um, I need you to answer these questions as quickly as possible. Shit. Quick. Quick. Okay, go. The hot, the hot seat. seat. Melina, Melinia, how old is too old for a man to play video games? None. There's no, there's no limit. Do you believe, uh, I already asked you this, but do you believe in open borders? Sure. Destiny, something. is it true that your parents voted for the great white hope? Yes. <laughs> nice. I like your parents. I don't know what happened to you, but if they voted for the great white hope, they got to be amazing. Yeah. Uh, Malia, do you love the great white hope? No. And why not? He's shit. Everybody does. No, no. She says he is shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but everyone is kind of shit, too. So it's <laughs> I asked this before, but it's in my questions. Have you two ever had a threesome with anybody? Yes. Have you done it more than once? Yes. Amazing. Uh, capitalism or socialism, Melina? Capitalism. Capitalism, socialism, uh, Destin. Capitalism. Malinia, is hell a real place? No. What do you say, Jesse? Is hell a real place? Yep. We're in it right now, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that you guys are. That's for sure. Um, um, Malinia, should critical race theory be taught in schools? What, what does that mean? Very complicated. Okay, that's too complicated. They are teaching black people that white people are evil. That's not what it is. It w it's really complicated. I, no, no comment. <laughs> Destiny, should critical race theory be taught in schools? Depends on how you do it, maybe. I don't have a concrete answer for you. Is sex love? No. It doesn't have to be. Uh, in one word, describe Joe Biden, Melina. Melina, yeah. Joe? What? Joe do, Biden. Do, do you yeah, one do you word, know who he is? Joe Biden. Yeah, I know who president. Describe him in one word. President. <laughs> Destiny. In one word. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Millennia should should drag queens, I mean transgenders, be allowed in women's sports. Um I actually I don't know. No comment on that one. I haven't thought about it. Uh, Destiny, should transgenders be allowed in women's sports? Um, probably not. That's a complicated one. Millennia, did you have fun? Yes. <laughs> did you, is Destiny? Did already? you have Did you have fun? Always. I always have fun here, Destiny. Is it already over? Yeah, almost. Over. What? What? Okay. Uh, um, tell the folks how they can get to your websites and see what you guys are doing. I'm um, twitch.tv slash destiny, youtube.com slash destiny. Twitch.tv slash Melina. And then I have an Instagram as well, which is Melina Dodgerenson. Amazing. This has been one, Amazing. Of, one of the most interesting discussions I've ever had with anyone. Wow. I had one, an, an amazing discussion with a young man from, uh, where was he from? From England. It was deep. It was very insightful. And you guys are like on the other end of the, uh, of, of the spectrum of life. And I've learned a lot from you guys. I really have. So thank you so much for coming on. That was a compliment. Thank you. Thanks, Jesse. Yeah. It was fun. And Destiny, you hurry up and come back to America and, and stop having so much sex and pay attention to what's going on, man. Gotcha. We'll both come back, okay? In a few weeks, we'll come on your show, okay? Live, all right. All right? right on. I okay. appreciate that. Thank you guys for coming on. Yep, Thank have a good one, Jesse. All right, good to meet you, Melina. Melina. Thank you. All right. See you later. Thank All right. You. All right, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I absolutely appreciate it. Don't forget to like, follow, ring the bell, 
Check out our merch and all of the good things we'll have going on there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching The Fallen State. We need your continued support. Donate to my nonprofit here. Subscribe and like the videos here. And tell everybody and their mama, amazing. All good? Yeah. Destiny, when do you have time to play games when you're doing all that other stuff? That's what I do for work. I play games, I do politics, Jesse. You make some money doing it. Yeah, it's my job. Amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. I, I totally enjoy that. Yeah, it's yeah, been fun. It was really fun. All right. I'll see you later, All okay? All right. Take care now. All right. Bye. Bye.